Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today's valued viewer question is from Biopack Singh. Hey Cap, can you test which of the air-to-air -air guns has the longest range? My prediction is the F-15. Well, this is interesting. It's got me thinking about how we're going to do this. It sounds fun, you know, drive an aeroplane, go forward, see how far the gun shoots, but that's not good enough. We've got to be scientific, repeatable and empirical. So that means setting it up properly. And I've been thinking about this quite a lot, how we're going to do this. First thoughts were put the aircraft on the ground in a line and shoot them. Not good enough because because if you put an aircraft on the ground, then the aircraft's angle of attack is A, not controllable, B, essentially random. It depends on the gear, how you know long is the front gear compared to the rear gear and, and all kinds of other stuff like that. So we've been experimenting and found the best way of doing this. So you'll see my aircraft frozen in the air. There are three things we need to control. One, altitude. Two, speed. Three, attitude of the gun not the aeroplane. Aeroplane just doesn't matter in terms of attitude. What matters is the gun. So altitude, we just measure it by going from the top of the superstructure there. How high is that? It doesn't matter. As long as it's the same and it's empirical, it doesn't matter. Speed, we're going to get as close to 300 knots as possible. As you can see, I'm 322. So plus or minus a few tens of knots is the best we can do, you know, realistically, because it's just not that easy. C, at the hardest bit, we've got to get the attitude of the gun. Now, the guns are not mounted in a set way to certain airframes. What I mean is the gun's not pointed towards the nose of the plane. The gun in different aircraft will be pointed in different directions in terms of up and down. We don't care about left and right in this. We just care about up and down. We can find out the attitude of the gun because in some aircraft we will have a gun cross. You can see that is our gun cross there. That is where the bullets are going to fly towards when I pull the trigger. So to reiterate, height is judged by this object here. Speed is obviously just the speed and the direction or the attitude of our gun is by that cross there and we're going to get that cross as close to the horizon as possible. You can see I'm slightly off by a fraction of degree here. Again, there's only so much accuracy I can do. It's just not that easy. Go and try it for yourself. We're in an F-16 now. We've got the default ammo loadout. As far as I'm aware, different types of ammo won't make a difference. I guess that's something we should probably test as well. Other than that, I've got a bunch of frigates set at one nautical mile, two nautical miles, one and a half, 1.25 and 1.75, and we can judge the range of the gun. Next problem, the bullets of these guns are not very accurate. You know, no guns are perfectly accurate. So you can see that spread there. Now the airframe is not moving about because I've got to actively pause. That is just a natural deviation of the bullets through a burst of the gun. All of the guns will have the same kind of problem. All we've got to do is take the average. So in this case, we can see this frigate here is at one nautical mile. That guy there is at 1.2 nautical miles. And the average spread, if I'm just interpolating here, is about there, which is about 1.05 nautical miles. 1.05 nautical miles. And just because you guys like boom boom, we'll just do it again. <laughs> Look at the smoke, it's so funny. And you can see it's going to be repeat the same kind of thing there. I'm happy to go for about there, center of the screen, 1.05 nautical miles with the set parameters. So we've got an F-15 here. Everything is set as we need to. The altitude is perfect. The speed is even more perfect. And the gun cross is absolutely pixel perfect. It's much easier to fly this than the F-16 because it's less realistic at the end of the day. And the interesting thing is it's actually short this time. Now I wonder why that is. This is turning out to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. Why is the same cannon aimed at the same place much further short? We're 22 knots slower and our gun, Cross, is aimed ever so slightly lower. So yes, the range I expected it to be slightly lower, but not as much. I, maybe it's just we've got to be that accurate, pixel perfect accurate on the horizon. So... In this configuration, the F-15 has managed 0.85 average spread with the same spread as the other M61, which is a huge difference. So I suppose we go back now and uh, retry the F-16 with slightly tighter parameters. Back in the F-16, I've got it a little tighter, 320 knots, and this time I've got the gun cross pixel perfect the same as where I had it on the F-15. So in theory, this should be not identical because we're 20 knots different in velocity, but very, very close, I think. Altitude is you know is within a couple of feet the best I can get it so let's give it a go again lateral is not going to be the same that doesn't really matter much better that is identical to the f-15 so it was all about getting that gun cross right on the horizon absolutely perfect which is not impossible it's very difficult to do oh and the other thing is we made sure we changed the right ammo type in the f-15 we had high explosive incendiary we had safi 
in the F-16 before, so now we've gone for high explosive incendiary, the same as the F-15. Should move the frigates this way, I just realised, I'll do it next time, but 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 0 0.9, 0 0.8, so about 0 0.85 is closest to the nearest 0 0.05, uh, which was, I think, actually, yes, that was the same as the F-15, good. So we're all calibrated now, I think. F-A-18C with an M-61 at the right height, at bang on the right speed, and with my gun cross, pixel perfect on the horizon. How about that? Much easier to fly than the F-16. And gunnery, go! I've moved the ships, by the way. Boom, boom, boom. Lovely spread. Right, M61 again. Perfect parameters, or very near perfect parameters. That is now the mile marker. That is 0 0.75 miles, so let me just interpolate. So say 0 0.82. 0 0.82 It's the same gun as the uh, other aircraft, and I couldn't change the type of ammo in here, so I'm going to have to assume it's high explosive incendiary. We've got the A-10 in position. We've got uh, 304 knots, and our gun cross. Ignore the CCIP predictor there. That gun cross is what we're interested in. Ignore that splash that I was just testing earlier. So, the mighty GAU-8 at set parameters with high explosive incendiary go. <laughs> How could you not like that? The first thing to notice is it is massively further than an M61. And why is that? Why would a higher, uh, is it high caliber? It's certainly bigger diameter. It's 30 mil instead of 20 mil. How's the muzzle velocity? I mean, what what is it that makes a bullet go further is it and with all the other parameters the same is it the velocity of the bullet is it the weight of the bullet is it the aerodynamic parameters of the bullet i don't know do you know don't ask me i'm not a gun guy uh, so i need you guys to come and answer that for me but for some reason that gal weight with all other set parameters is firing significantly further than an m61 which i wouldn't have thought i guess it's because the bullet is heavier but we've got one mile there 1.25 miles there so we've got about there 1.1 miles about there bang on center spread i mean it's a bigger spread than the m61 that's interesting uh, but it's bang on 1.1 nautical miles 1.1 nautical miles the value of viewers are saying higher velocity and lower ballistic coefficient ballistic coefficient probably means the drag higher the drag the less far the bullet will go so that'll be interesting f5e two times 20 mil auto cannons probably a lot lower muzzle velocity than the other aircraft we've got it at the right height we've got it at the right speed we've got it at the right attitude now however that is not necessarily a gun cross that is a depressible gun pipper at zero milliradians depression so we're going to assume it's the gun cross that's the best we can do and it looks if you follow the traces it looks like a gun cross so we're going to run with that Of deviation not much accuracy 0.85 the same as the m61s basically so the same caliber or the same round diameter so far in dcs gives us exactly the same which is weird because i would have thought those auto cannons would be seriously less velocity than an m61 but i don't know of course welcome back we've got a f86 f it's got half inch machine guns i think they are m3s rather than m2s if that makes any difference for muzzle velocity uh, I've gone slightly past, but it's, you know, it's, it's 100 feet past, so I don't think we're going to factor in too much, or maybe I'll, I'll subtract 100 feet. We think that a, a zero depressed caged pipper is going to be our, guns, our gun cross, so we're going to give that a go. So, check this out. can see some of them ricocheting how cool is that oh look they're ricocheting why does these bullets ricochet but the 20 mils and the 30 mils don't ricochet sometimes these you know bring up more questions than answer now here's the thing as well those bullets look slower to me but they've gone further we've averaged on one nautical mile one nautical mile for what i think is half inch bmg uh, let me know your reasons now, it doesn't make any sense to me at all. MiG-15, NR-23, 23 mil, and a 37 or 38 mil cannon. So let's do 23 mil, everything otherwise aligned. We're about 10 feet low, but it's just not an easy plane to get lined up. 23 mil. What a weird spread. What a weird spread. Take that down to a bug, shall we? Let's try that again. No, it literally does that. What a weird spread is that, guys? Bearing in mind the plane can't move. Don't know, can't help you there. Weird plane. One mile, 0 0.7 miles. Uh, the guys are asking if it might be a mix of bullet types. Uh, I don't get to choose which type of bullets go in this plane, so I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. But there's something weird going on there. 
Uh, that is centered on 0 0.75 miles on the NR23, 0 0.75 miles. The big one, 38, 37 mil. Wow, look at that for a tight spread. That's exactly on one nautical mile as well. So one nautical mile. So the big one, which I thought was a really low velocity, which is interesting, assuming it's aligned the same as the 23, I've got to, you know, make some assumptions. Uh, the guys are saying recoil vibrations. The airframe can't move. There can be simulated gun. The gun can move slightly on its mounts. But in DCS, as far as the frame, the airplane is concerned, it can't move in this active pause. Mirage, a uh, slight problem in that. I've not got infinite ammo on, and I just forgot to set the camera recording while we did the Mirage. So we're going to try and do it with 31 bullets in the right place, right altitude, right longitudinal, and the correct uh, attitude. That's my slight complaint is I don't think the guns are lined up with this cross on this aircraft. That might not necessarily be a gun cross. The other aircraft, you can see the bullets going towards that gun cross. Watch what happens in slow motion, because I've not got much ammo left when I fire this. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah doesn't look to me like that's going towards that gun cross. Let me know your thoughts. Two times 30 more death is in this, of course. Bang, 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 bang. But that's all we've got. And to kind of cooperate that, it's horrendously low range as well. Look at that. 0 0.5, 0 0.75. So 0 0.65 nautical miles. Much lower than anything else. So it's probably that the gun isn't lined up with that with that cross in this aircraft. But we'll put the results down for now and put a star by it. MiG-19P, two times Russian 30 mil cannons. I think we're lined up height. We're lined up longitudinal. We're pretty sure that that is our gun cross there. Uh, the attitude of our gun cross. Let's give it a fire. Dun, 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 that populate. Okay, you've got a spread over. Uh, that is the one nautical mile. So, 30 mil in this beast gives us one nautical mile. Harrier. There's a CTIPQ, but no gun cross. So, can't do the Harrier. Jeff 17, 312 knots, level altitude, gun cross on the horizon. We're pretty sure, relatively sure that is a uh, working gun cross, so let's give it a go. All we need to do is find out what gun's in here now. Ha <laughs> ha. And we've got a very tight grouping. Now, we've done air gun accuracy before, ballistic gun accuracy, and the Jeff did come very high, so it's interesting why this has got such an accurate gun. But there you go. We've got a clear 0 0.85, 0 0.85. There's a 23mm GSH-23 twin barrel. So exactly the same as the M61, interestingly, at a different calibre. Last one, SU-27, single-barreled high-calibre cannon that we're about to find out. Uh, mm, I think we're just about the right altitude there. Right longitude, no, no gun cross. But we think that the, and I stress we think that that uh, gun funnel starts at what would be the gun, cro gun cross in terms of elevation. So we're having a bit of a guess there, but it's the best we can do. Look at the bullets, see what they look like. Mm, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts, it's the best I can do. We are dealing with the one times GSH-31 auto cannon, and we've got a pretty reliable spread there at 0 0.88 I'm going to go for. And the final data. We didn't do all aircraft. Some aircraft just don't have a valid gun cross. An F-14 has a gun cross. It's not aligned at all with the gun. The gun is like two and a half degrees above it. And there are other examples, Vigan, stuff like that, that we just simply can't find a way of doing this with. Also, some of them are a little spurious. The MiG 2K, I'm not particularly happy with that gun cross. The SU 27, not particularly happy with that. So take those with a pinch of salt. But the ones that we're pretty sure we've got a solid gun attitude are F 16C with an M61A1 20mm rotary cannon with high explosive incendiary tracer rounds with 0 0.85 nautical miles. Exactly the same as that was the F 15C with exactly the same kind of gun, the same kind of ammo. F 880C was slightly short. However, it's unlikely that the gun's any different. It's probably just I set the aircraft up slightly insufficiently. The king today, a lot of you probably would have thought this for whatever reason, is the A-10C with the Gau-8 rotary cannon, high velocity, 30 mil with 1.1 nautical miles. She is the king. F-5E, 20 mil auto cannon, surprisingly for me, the same as the M61. So it'd be interesting to know if anyone has the velocity of that cannon versus that cannon to see if they're the same in real life. That would be interesting, uh, what that muzzle velocity is. Next half inch for the F-86 at one nautical mile. Uh, the second best, essentially. Why is that so good? Assuming we've got the gun datum right. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. MiG-15, 20 NR-23, 0 0.75 miles. They are notoriously... Uh, low velocity gun so that doesn't surprise me however the m37 is one nautical mile which doesn't make any sense to me at all i know they are very low velocity 
uh, bomber cannons. Why would they be so high? I've got this feeling that the guy who designed this MiG may have designed that cannon there aiming up an extra degree or something, or a fraction of degree. That would be my thought, but let me know what you guys think. Mirage 2K with a DEFA 30 mils was the worst here at 0 0.65 nautical, nautical miles. It's my suspicion that that gun cross simply isn't correct as a gun cross, but let me know your thoughts. MiG-19, 30 mil twin auto cannons at one nautical mile. Why is that so good? Don't know. Let me know your thoughts. JF-17, the most accurate gun in the game, at, uh, as proved by a separate video that I'll link in the video description if I remember, 0 0.85 nautical miles. And then the SU-27, we weren't particularly sure that we had the gun datum, but it looked okay at 0 0.88 nautical miles. So you guys now take away that data. That is the testing, literally the ballistic range of these various cannons. What we've not tested is how effective the range is in relation with the onboard aiming site, but I, I've got no real way of testing that empirically. I can go and do a dogfight and say this probably is longer range than the others, but it's not scientific, it's not empirical, it's just me saying my thoughts, whereas this, what we've done here, is fully scientifically provable. That's all I've got to add. I hope that was useful and see you later.